Hello from Ahihik at beautiful Lake Chapala. Since I'm considering buying a house in this town, I figure it's about time I put boots on the ground and see what I really think of Ahihik in 2022. In case you aren't familiar with my story, I actually did live in Ahihik in 2018, so it'll be really interesting today to see the differences and maybe even some of the things that I did and didn't like then and how that's changed. For breakfast, I decided to come to this place with an amazing view of Lake Chapala called Saint Remy du Lac, and it's a French place, so I probably just butchered the heck out of that and actually I don't even know if you can call this breakfast maybe not even brunch because it's <laughs> it's 1 p.m. but I decided to get a salmon eggs benedict a slightly modified version they put it on tortillas uh, corn tortillas instead of bread since I'm gluten-free looks highly delicious so I'm gonna give it a try muchas gracias ¿Y qué tan uh, picante es la salsa? Más o menos, sí. sí. No tanto, pero sí un poquito. Ok, muchas gracias. That was pretty good. I was a little surprised it didn't come with hollandaise sauce. I'll just be eating it al natural. <laughs> and it's a good thing I'm not doing a $10 challenge because this plate was 150 pesos. So I would pretty much be screwed for the rest of the day. <laughs> So admittedly, I have come to this restaurant before and I always love looking out at the view. It's so peaceful. You see butterflies going by and birds chirping and yeah, just such a lovely ambiance. I can't honestly say that this particular breakfast was my favorite one of all time because it really didn't taste like much <laughs> without any type of like hollandaise sauce or whatever, but it is going to be just the fuel I need to enjoy my day here in Ahihik. And if it seems like I have lower energy than usual or I'm off or sad or something like that. Um, basically, I got food poisoning plus my lovely monthly gift that lets me know I'm not pregnant yesterday all in the same day. And it was basically a completely torturous day, so I'm just a little bit more tired than usual. But that's not gonna stop me from enjoying my time here. If you're enjoying this video and would like to see more about my life and traveling in Mexico, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You know what, one of the things I have always loved about Ahihik are all the murals that you'll see all over town and the colorful buildings, but also that the colors of cars are coordinated. So as you see here, this area, you can only have a red car. Red car, red cars, <laughs> red cars. Still at it, huh? I am still at it. <laughs> are you gonna move here? Possibly, we'll see. All right, you're <laughs> Bye. Uh, yeah, I'm just joking though, but I've never actually seen so many red cars on any particular corner and I don't think anybody coordinated this. Okay, so I'm passing by this place now with this lovely sign here. Wild Dildo Dildoria. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to say that on my channel, but all of them are GMO and gluten-free. As we all know, I'm gluten-free, so I'm gonna have to go inside. Well, I don't know exactly how much I should be recording in here as far as monetization goes on YouTube, but there are in fact adult toys, lots of fun things, cards uh, at varying levels of adultness. <laughs> there are things for smoking. There are things for under your clothes. I'm definitely not disappointed with the variety in here. Well, no time in Ahihik would be complete without taking a leisurely stroll down the Malecon. This is a really nice stretch of paved pavement, sidewalk, <laughs> that butts right up against the lake. So you have these gorgeous views. Amazing to come here during sunset because you just see it go over the mountains in spectacular colors. And you get to see the birds. I always like looking at my garzas blancas. That was one of the very first bird names that I learned in Spanish. And I don't know why I think it's so funny. Um, and anytime I see them, I pretty much yell it out and make everybody stare at me. But <laughs> it's so peaceful out here. There's really not that many people because it's something like two in the afternoon. A lot of people come out with their families in the evening and especially on weekends, tapatios come down from Guadalajara to hang out. Also here on the Malecon, you've got a playground for kids, lots of benches and tables so you can have a little picnic or even I think there's barbecue grills so you can also kind of come out here and have a little barbecue with the family. And a new restaurant has popped up over here. If I wasn't completely full from breakfast, I would check it out. One thing I super love about Ahihik is that I can walk around and unlike in Guadalajara, I don't get stared at everywhere. And yes, some people might think that this is a revealing outfit. You can see a few inches of the belly, whoa. And you can see 
my legs. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that that's because this has one of the largest expat communities in Mexico. So <laughs> I'm sure the average person around here is used to seeing foreigners, but that means I get to wear an outfit like this and people just treat me like I'm any other person walking around, which is lovely. <laughs> I don't feel uncomfortable at all. And now, on the note of foreigners, I know there are a fair bit of people, especially who commented on my video last week where I was doing house hunting here in Akihik, that are like, why would you live there? It's all old people, <laughs> it, like it's a retirement community or whatever. And while that is true, a lot of people, a lot of foreigners do come here to retire. I don't actually feel like it's that old of a community. I still feel like there's a lot of vibrancy here, a lot of really quaint small town culture. That I really enjoy. Year-round weather is awesome. I am actually going back to my place right now because at the uh, midday sun level I'm getting like a sweat mustache and I'm probably getting sunburnt but <laughs> as a rule this is actually considered one of the places in Mexico with the nicest weather all year round. While I'm inside here cooling off I figured it's probably about time I maybe show you what's going on with my ukulele. I've gotten a lot of requests for this and I'm actually just kind of embarrassed that I haven't made more progress. Admittedly, I've only dedicated like 15 minutes a week to this, so I'm not good in the slightest. I'm teaching myself, so anyway, all of these disclaimers that it's probably gonna be kind of embarrassing, but I still have fun doing it anyway. And you might notice uh, this strap, I just made it, posted this on my Instagram, so maybe you already saw it. It's kind of simple, but I like it. This one doesn't even have a strumming pattern, and all these chords are kind of hard to me, but here we go anyway. but it's really hard to do the fingerings. Like a river flows, surely to the sea. Darling, so it goes. Some things are meant. Nope. Some things are meant to be. After I cooled off inside, oh shoot, this is like dog wet nose. <laughs> is that better? Yeah, anyway, after I cooled off inside, I decided to meet up with my friend Olivia here. This place called Machama, which is a, it's a vegan, right? Yeah, it's it's vegan. a vegan place. And they have gluten-free options and delicious juices and smoothies, the perfect afternoon pick-me-up. So my green juice here is 115 pesos, which I do think is actually kind of expensive for Mexico standards, but since this is a vegan place and I think they use like all organic or maybe a lot organic, there you go. So now I'm in Centro and they're clearly getting set up for Dia de Independencia that's coming up because we've got all these papel picado that are red, white, and green. Or well, in this case, it's plastico picado. <laughs> well, I'm back here on the Malecon because I was going to try to catch the sunset, but then I looked up and saw the craziest thing, which is actually a phenomenon that I just learned about on TikTok called a scarf cloud, which apparently looks like a cylindrical rainbow kind of deal above a really big, dense cloud. And it didn't really form into quite that cylindrical shape, but 
the changes and the fract not fractals, but like the colors and stuff have been crazy mesmerizing to watch. Sprinkling a little bit now, but I'm hopeful I'm hoping that the clouds don't really open up because I want to get one of my favorite things in Mexico to eat, esquites. And at this place they add vegetables to it as well, so it's almost like a complete meal. Here's my delicious dinner, which is, this is actually huge. For 50 pesos, they put any of the vegetables that I want, plus esquites, cream, creamy cheese, oh my, <laughs> creamy cheese, crumbly cheese, and because I'm a glutton, also mayo, <laughs> and lime, and salt, and I would try this on camera, but how, how, okay, actually, I know, friends, that's what friends are for. <laughs> it's gonna go everywhere, I just know it. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I know. Mmm. Um, Harvey Camper. This is where it's at. It is officially boba time. This is like a vortex of these little, they're these little bugs that I've only really ever seen in Ahihik, but they kind of look like mosquitoes. They're just innocent flies, but they come in swarms. What I was going to say though, now that I've finished my delicious esquites plate and I'm super full, fat, and happy, is if you ever want these, you're in Ahihik. They're always here in the central area, here next to this little church that you can't see over here. They're always working their magic, so definitely check them out. Well, it got a little too dark to share my final thoughts yesterday, so here they are. Ahihik has definitely gotten more expensive than when I lived here in 2018. No surprise there, honestly. <laughs> and I've gotten a fair number of comments saying, Ahihik is so boring, how could you live there? There's nothing to do. I do agree with that to an extent because if you don't really plug yourself into the community here and if you're not super intentional about what you're doing, you are kind of just gonna end up going to a bunch of restaurants all the time. So that is a consideration for whether I would live here. Please Please let me know in the comments though if you'd like me to do some type of a comparison video comparing and contrasting different cities that I really enjoy in Mexico, for instance their cost of living, walkability, weather and things like that, especially other cities I'm considering living in long term like Querétaro or Mexico City. Just drop a comment below. Thank you so much for coming along with me today in Ajijic. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to see more. On the screen here is a video I did last week where I was house hunting here in Ajijic. And one more thing before you go that bell if you'd like to be notified the next time I release a new video and I hope to see you there.